why does Israel need our help? We need to get out of their way. I mean, we interfere with them. We, de- we interfere with them when they deal with their borders, when they want to have peace treaties. We tell them what they can do because we buy their allegiance and they sacrifice their sovereignty to us. And then they decide they want to bomb something. That's their business, but they should, you know, suffer the consequences. When they bombed the uh, Iraqi missile site, a uh, nuclear site back in the 80s, I was one of the few in Congress that said it's none of our business and Israel should take care of themselves. Israel has 200, 300 nuclear missiles and they can take care of themselves. Why should we commit? We don't even have a treaty with Israel. Why, why do we have this automatic commitment that we're going to send our kids and send our money endlessly uh, to, to Israel? So I think they're quite capable of taking, themselves, taking care of themselves. I think we do detriment. Just think of all the money we gave to Egypt over 30 or 40 years. Now look, the, the, we were buying friendship. Now there's a civil war. They're less friendly to Israel. That whole thing is going to backfire once we go bankrupt and we remove our troops. So I think we should be very cautious in our willingness to go to war and send troops without a proper declaration by the U.S. Congress.